Good evening. I'm Chris Mann, the past board chair and current special events co-chairman for the Prisma Health Baptist Easley Foundation. Thank you all for joining us tonight. We're very excited about the virtual gala and having the ability to celebrate bringing a cancer care unit to Baptist Easley Hospital. As many of you may be aware, I've lived in Easley all of my life and it's been heartwarming to see how this community rallies around this hospital and it rallies around the needs of the hospital and especially our hospital healthcare heroes during this pandemic. I've been involved with the foundation board for six years and I've never been more proud of a community than I was this year. As many of you as individuals and businesses step forward to provide meals, snacks and drinks for the employees. Tonight, we are here to raise money for the Larry Wynn MD Cancer Care Unit and to celebrate our local community hospital and all that it brings to Pickens County. I'm going to now turn it over to my good friend and yours, Jay Du. Hey, evening everybody. Thank you. I'm Jay Du, your host and MC for the event tonight. I've been working with Baptist Easley Foundation raising funds for the Larry Wynn MD Cancer Care Unit right here at Baptist Easley Hospital. Now, you may not be aware, but all residents of Pickens County, they have to travel outside of the county for cancer infusion services. This gala and your participation will help to ensure that access to quality cancer care and cancer infusion services is accessible right here in Pickens sure. County. The virtual gala is coinciding with our Festival of Lights in downtown Easley. So please come on downtown and see all of our beautifully sponsored trees in the storefront windows. Now you can also bid on the four foot decorated trees, ladies and gents. So those wreaths as well, and some amazing silent auction items are available to you. Now the silent auction is going to continue through tonight and end at 6 p.m. on Sunday. Correct. So you still have a couple of days for that. Now, if you'd like to wait to bid, please know there is a watch item, uh, watch option on the items, and you can get a text to remind you to come back and bid on those items later. So right now, let's hear from the Baptist Easley Foundation's chairperson, Miss Julie Kaplan. Good evening. I am Julie Kaplan and as chairperson of the Prisma Health Baptist Easley Foundation Board, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this very special evening. Thank you for supporting us and for joining us in our virtual gala. As we all know, this has been an extremely different and challenging year for all of us. It has been especially difficult for our healthcare workers on the front lines of this pandemic. And we are extremely blessed to have such an amazing local community hospital in Prisma Health Baptist Easley. Todd Walker and his team have worked nonstop to offer stellar care for Pickens County. Throughout the year, team members at Baptist Easley have worked tirelessly to ensure the best of care has been provided to all patients, COVID and non-COVID. I want to begin this virtual event by thanking Todd Walker, the hospital leadership, and the team members for the care they give to Pickens County and our surrounding communities. Through the foundation, we have been honored to work with the Baptist Easley team and support them in any way possible. We have an excellent Easley Foundation Board. I was particularly honored to serve as the chairperson as we announced in March our capital campaign to bring a cancer center to Baptist Easley. A week later, the world shut down and our focus had to change. At this time, we are excited to pivot back into raising funds for a much needed cancer care unit at Baptist Easley Hospital. Currently, Pickens County does not have a cancer infusion center. If you have cancer in Pickens County, you have to drive out of county to receive your infusion treatment. As you can imagine, this is a difficult and tiring trip for all who make it. We are thrilled to be raising money to make the Larry Wynn MD Cancer Care Unit a reality. Don't forget about our silent auction that is currently live and will not close until Sunday afternoon at 6 p.m. Make sure and check out the items and bid often. There are some stunning four foot trees in our silent auction. If you have not seen them yet in the window at the corners of Main Street and Pendleton Street, then please do so soon, along with the rest of our Festival of Lights lining downtown Easley. This has been an exciting new partnership with the Easley Chamber, the City of Easley, and the Easley Chamber Downtown Business Council. 
we are looking forward to growing it in the coming years. I would like to give a special thank you to our premier sponsors for this year's Festival of Lights, Cornell Dubelier and Triangle Construction Company. Once again, thank you for supporting the Baptist Easley Foundation in these trying times. All of the funds raised through the Baptist Easley Foundation are strictly to be used at Baptist Easley Hospital and the practices associated with Baptist Easley. So your con contributions will always stay here. In closing, have a wonderful night and happy holidays. Wonderful message, Chris. Thank you so much, Julie. Uh, now, I think it's crucial to remember what your ticket purchase, your sponsorship, or your donation is going to bring to this community and why it's so important. Now, many of you do know Brian and Stacy Garrison, but you may not be aware that Stacy is a breast cancer survivor. She's also a past foundation board member, so supporting this hospital was already very important to her. But after battling cancer and having to drive out of the county for treatment, Stacy wanted to share the importance of having cancer care right here, close to home. It started back in 2018. I um, was about a month late on my mammogram, and I knew better because both my daughters are um, part of Zeta at Clemson, and their philanthropy is breast cancer. So I spend every October supporting them and their fundraiser, and. Um, didn't know I was going to be one of the beneficiaries. So I happened to be in the hospital for work and I thought I'm going to run by and make an appointment because I'm a little late. They actually got me in that morning and I had a mammogram. So just like all the other years I thought it was fine. Two weeks later I got a letter that they saw something concerning. So we spoke and then they referred me to the Breast Health Center at GHS in Greenville because they had a 3D mammogram and an ultrasound. At that time, we didn't have 3D, but we do now, which is a lifesaver. So I went and had the biop, well, the ultrasound and the mammogram, and the doctor came in and told me that he was pretty sure that's what it was. So that's how it all started. I then had a biopsy, and then um, met with the oncologist, and again did all this in Greenville because it just wasn't available here at the time, and. I just wanted it to be as easy on my family as it could be. I'm Larry Gluck. I'm the medical director of the Prisma Cancer Institute, and it's both an honor and a pleasure to be here today on the Easley campus. It brings back memories of when we first opened an office here in 1996 to take care of patients from Easley and Pickens County as close to home as we could. One of the delights about today is, is that we're talking about next steps and we are uh, very close to moving on to uh, a new phase of development here uh, on the Easley campus. Uh, we're currently on Fleetwood and we're going to move across the street into uh, new space. And that new space will allow us to do many things that we cannot do today. And then I had my surgery January 15th, right after I turned 50, and then had radiation. Uh, about 13 weeks of that every day and would have loved to have been able to do it here because it does zap your energy. In testimony to, to the care we've been able to deliver and the adoption of that care by the residents of this, of this city, uh, we have outgrown our space. In point of fact, uh, we outgrew it to the point where for lots of things such as infusion, so chemotherapy infusion, immunotherapy infusion, uh, we actually had to move much of that to Greenville. So in, in preparing for treatment, we realized that it was going to be an everyday thing. I was totally shocked by that. So we had to prepare for, you know, how was I going to get there? What was I going to do? And they wanted to take me, but of course everybody, you know, my husband works, we actually own our own business, and I was insistent upon, I'm gonna, I can do it, you know, I'll do it myself. But had it been here, it would have been easier. I mean, we could have come home at the same time every day, done it, and then gone home and rested. Um, so it was more of a burden to have to drive to Greenville, um, but I'm glad that I didn't have to drive to Charlotte, but it'd be really nice to have just come here. Now with the successful identification of space, 
we are going to be able to uh, greatly expand our square footage and greatly expand to what we can do right here uh, without, leaving, uh, without leaving the town. The emphasis on full-scale treatment would include, uh, indeed, chemotherapy infusion, uh, complete diagnostic uh, capability, close association with radiology and pathology here within the building. As I've mentioned, the 3D mammogram is so important. And just like the fact that we have it now, we didn't have it back then. And so that's just another reason why fundraising is so important and why it's so important to stay on the cutting edge of what we need. Because so often, and back then, I didn't even know what a 3D mammogram was. I didn't realize that that was an option. And thankfully we got one since, but that you know, goes to show that it's important to stay on top of things. And I'm very thankful that we're doing that and getting a cancer care center here. So we're at a very uh, ambitious moment. Uh, where we are going to be renovating and then uh, moving into new space. New space matters because it will allow us to do things that we cannot do now. Uh, because it had become a very busy program, uh, lots of what uh, we wanted to do and need to do actually uh, require greater space, so we utilize Greenville as a temporary uh, maneuver. But the thought of being able to return chemotherapy treatments, immunotherapy treatments, blood transfusions, and, uh, and other things uh, to this campus is of paramount importance to us because it's of paramount importance to our patients and their families. But it's not just a matter of space to do that, it is a matter of space to do things that we plan to establish completely throughout the pillar uh, of Prisma. So not only here, not only throughout the upstate, but throughout the Midlands and potentially beyond. That will include uh, a greater mix of both uh, cancer generalists and cancer subspecialists. It will include the use of uh, multidisciplinary interactions. Our new space will allow for surgical consultation and interaction with, with specialized teams. It will allow us to focus on uh, programs within our Center for Integrative Oncology and Survivorship. So it's getting people healthy after they've been through treatment and then taking them through survivorship. And additionally, it'll allow us to bring one of our newer uh, programs uh, around cancer prevention right here to, the, to this campus. It is an exciting time that within New Space that actually one of the first locations that we will be able to establish this is right here on the Easley campus. Now, Jay Doo, I've known Brian and Stacy for many years, and knowing that we are here raising money to make sure that our families and friends no longer have to drive out of Pickens County for care makes me so proud. I would not want my wife to have to drive right. out of Pickens mm -hmm. County if she were to have to go through something so terrible like this. And I know each of you feel the same way about your friends and family. If you've not donated or bid on one of our silent auction items, please consider going to our website and bidding or donating at this time. All right, now let's take a look at some of these silent auction items. Chris, they're looking really good. I was looking at several of these mm. earlier, and I noticed there was an impressive Weller bourbon collection that can be bid on. Now take a look at some of these pictures here and see what's going on now. Chris, I don't know if you're done with your holiday shopping, but this no. may be the time. Yeah. All right, so I believe the current bid um, is around 425 here. We may have started around there, but the value, ladies and gentlemen, is $700. $700, there it is. Take a look on the screen there. So uh, $725 there for that one. Now the Weller Bourbon Collection includes three bottles of WL Weller Bourbon, Weller Full Proof, Weller Antique 107, and Weller Special Reserve, Chris. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a wonderful deal for that person who loves a good bourbon on a cold night just like this. This week has been crazy. It's crazy. Right? It yes. warmed up a little bit, but now it's raining mm -hmm. on us. Oh, goodness. Or, you know, ladies and gentlemen, you might be able to uh, split this. For all the bourbon drinkers in your life, have a little party for the holidays. Now, there's also a week's stay in a three-bedroom, four-bath condo at Palmetto Dunes in Hilton Head. My Ooh. favorite place on mm -hmm. the face of the earth. The condo sleeps 10. Um, it's available through April 2021 mm -hmm. based on the availability and the contact with the Dye family. Now, you can relax on the 18th tee of the beautiful Robert Trent Jones course. 
and then you're just steps from the beach, the pool, tennis, and restaurants. Currently, the bid is only $425. This is a steal. Now, yes. Okay, now I know there are several of you out there who maybe are in this boat with me. I don't know about you, Chris, who have not yet finished their holiday shopping for mm. mom and your wife and mm. your daughter. Okay, oh, no. yeah. right. Okay, so what you want to know is that their silent auction also has a wonderful new Kate Spade bag and a Michael Kors bag, okay? So you can take a look at those. Hopefully we'll have that up here on the screen for you in just one second. And uh, the value on these, of course, the value is so much more than the dollar amount. You know that. Yes. Because the ladies, this is what they want, right? That's exactly All the things that. that, you know, we wouldn't normally do on a regular day or maybe even a birthday, but there it is. I love to see it. And uh, you can see that there's two options there. And uh, if you give, give these pur purses, uh, you're going to be a, a star in your family. Absolutely. I'm telling you, 2020, all the problems will just be washed gone, away. Gone, gone. So I also saw where we have not one, but two Dinner with Friends packages. Now, we've had these in the past, and they've become so popular mm -hmm. that Chef James Freestone and Chef Russell Lamb are offering two meals for silent auction this year. Ooh. You and nine of your friends will enjoy a five-course meal prepared in your home, including the cleanup. So impress your friends that you've got your own personal chef. Now, from first-hand knowledge, I can tell you this meal will be fantastic. I wish we could have them here tonight. I'll tell you what. Now, we have not yet mentioned, it's time to go back uh, to talk about those stunning four-foot trees decorated by Darlene Alexander. Darlene, thank you so much. And uh, they're being auctioned, ladies and gentlemen. You can take them home. Now, if you'd like to see them up close, remember, they're located in the windows of Frierson's Drugstore on the corner of Main and Pendleton Street. So just come on down. Take a look. Now, we've got a couple of, there they are. I think we've got them on the screen for you right now, ladies and gentlemen. There's several that you'll have options to choose from. Look at these. Now, how's your, how's your decorating, Chris? Yeah, it's not very good. Me so, either. You know, yeah. we're just, we're doing the best we can out here, but mine's no good either. Yeah. Now, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, the auction ends Sunday afternoon at 6 p.m. So we've got just a few more days for you, and you can choose to watch the items if you do not want to bid right now. But I definitely recommend checking out all of the items, scrolling through, and making sure you get your best chances to win. Mm -hmm. Now, ladies and gentlemen, remember, every penny raised will go to bring cancer care close to home right here in Pickens County. And it's going to help make the Larry Wynn MD Cancer Care Unit a reality. We need you to help make this happen. So please consider giving, consider bidding, and of course, always donate. Now, to end the night tonight, we're going to wrap things up. We're going to hear from our Prisma Health Baptist Easley Hospital CEO, our Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Todd Walker. Todd, take it away. Good evening. It is wonderful to be with you during this special and important event. Like everything in 2020, tonight feels different. But one thing this year has given me is an intentionality to be grateful in every situation. So while I wish we truly could be together tonight, I am deeply appreciative of the opportunity to connect in this way. This opportunity was born out of the creativity and hard work of our foundation team, Candy Forrester Smith and Andreas Stagall, along with our incredibly committed foundation board and the special events committee. On behalf of Prisma Health Baptist Easley Hospital, Thank you for your hard work and determination to make tonight possible. What a year it has been for our hospital. As we turn the page to 2020, never could I have imagined the journey on which we were about to embark. Shortly after the gravity of the pandemic set in and we truly began to understand what was in front of us, I was told this would be the greatest leadership challenge of our lifetime. Those words ring true. As part of the largest healthcare provider in South Carolina, Baptist Easley was well positioned to respond to this pandemic. Through a robust supply chain, access to subject matter experts in areas such as infection prevention, epidemiology, and pulmonary critical care, Prisma Health has done a remarkable job in caring for COVID-19 patients, keeping the community informed, and assuring team members are safe. I'm grateful to be a part of this system. It has been a remarkable journey to be sure. As you probably recall, Shortly after the virus began its spread through the United States, volumes dropped sharply in hospitals across the country 
as little information was available about this novel infectious disease. This prompted the temporary suspension of admissions at our hospital. As volumes began to return and patients sought out the care needed for chronic disease management as well as preventative care, we reopened our inpatient units and ramped up for the surge that would confront us later in the summer. To meet this surge, the team at Baptist Easley, led by some of the most talented individuals I've ever had the opportunity to work with, implemented new visitation protocols to keep our community safe, doubled our telemetry monitoring capability, stood up a five-bed auxiliary intensive care unit, mobilized a 12-bed surge unit that could accommodate critical care, step-down, and regular med surge patients, and stood up a drive-through testing site that has collected over 4,000 samples. In total, we have cared for close to 350 COVID-19 patients at Baptist Easley Hospital. These patients have been cared for by a staff that can only be defined by their selflessness, tenacity, and courage in the face of the worst global pandemic in over 100 years. While this response has been more than enough to keep us busy, the work of providing diagnostic testing, emergency care, treatment of chronic conditions, and surgical intervention has not stopped. The notion that all these things have happened in the context of improving quality scores, upward trajectory in key areas of patient engagement, and growth along key service lines is almost inconceivable. But that is what has happened at BEH in 2020. We were awarded four certified zero harm awards by the South Carolina Hospital Association for excellence in avoiding surgical site infections and central line bloodstream infections in our critical care unit. We continue to decrease the rates of hospital-acquired C. difficile and are approaching top quartile performance nationwide. We have reached top quartile performance in readmission rates and surgical safety indicators, and we're performing in the top 10% nationally in mortality rates. We have had a banner year financially as well, outpacing our budgeted margin by over 66%. We've continued to invest in capital to enhance patient and team member safety and grow key service lines. Most importantly, we've invested close to $1 million in wage adjustments for every member of our team. I share all of this to demonstrate that an investment in Baptist Easley Hospital is a sound one. And let me be clear, these accomplishments are the direct result of the hard work of our team members under the guidance of the finest department managers you could ever hope to serve alongside. And last, but certainly not least, these accomplishments are made possible by the balanced generosity of you, our dear friends. With that, let me again say thank you for your participation tonight, for all you have done and all you will do. On behalf of Baptist Easley Hospital, Merry Christmas and God bless. On behalf of the Baptist Easley Foundation, I want to thank you for your support and for attending tonight's virtual Festival of Lights Gala. But don't you forget to bid and donate. And please tell your family and friends to go downtown. Come on downtown to Easley and stroll through our beautifully lit downtown area. Ladies and gentlemen, may you all have a blessed holiday season and good night. Good night.